Hello and welcome to Biocode. In this video, you will see how we can utilize sequence IO module to parse multiple sequences from a single file so that we can print out or utilize them in our, in our analysis. In this video, we are just going to print them out and we are not going to actually utilize them in for any analysis. But as you saw in previous video that we were uh, reading a single sequence from a single file and in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to read a multiple sequences three sequences in total that are available within a single file that uh, na that is named as mysequences.pom and uh, all of these sequences have an id a description a sequence itself and that sort of information is available so let's uh, go back to our original code so what really happens in in, in this code is that we are importing sequence io module in this video we are going to utilize parse function of sequence IO rather than read function as compared to our other video. Why is that? Because parsing parse function is utilized when we are parsing a multiple sequences from a single file, right? So all we really need to do is uh, utilize the sequence IO module, then the use, utilizing dot operator, we are uh, utilizing the parse function. And in that parse function, we are passing two arguments. The first one is the file name itself which is my sequence store far and the, uh, we are actually telling the uh, 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 telling the function that it is a fast file and then we are actually in number in them or uh, we are actually passing the result the list basically what happens is that uh, when we are parsing a single file which contains multiple sequences they get converted into a list of sequences so that list can be utilized uh, to loop over so that we can find all of these functions all of these uh, sequences that are available through this function so that is why we need to utilize the for loop so we are actually asking uh, the function to convert this particular file and all of the sequences that are available within it, within this file into a list that list gets converted into each variable as the loop as it is looped over and it, it is stored in the get record so for example let's suppose that there are five five sequences in this file each time this loop will be executed on that file it will take a single sequence and then store it into the get record function get record variable and then we can utilize it for the uh, extraction of the information but that is not the scope right now but what extra we are doing in this code is that we are actually enumerating the list that is generated by sequence io dot parts so that we can count what sequence we are uh, on what sequence we are actually uh, executing the loop since uh, uh, since list always starts from the zero rather than one index so we are actually adding i plus 1 and then we are printing okay this is the sequence 1 this is the sequence 2 this is the sequence 3 like this then we are printing out the record of uh, id of the each record that is passed from this file into this variable over here so what really happens is let me let me define it again for you since in this file we were we were not actually utilizing any loop because uh, we knew that this particular file is is containing only a single sequence and we are utilizing the read function so uh, there is no point of use utilizing the for loop so for loop is only utilized when there are multiple things available for for example a list or or an iterator if you don't understand any of this you need to watch the previous videos about the list and the for loops so when we are utilizing the parse function, it gets converted into a list. The entire file, this entire file gets converted into a records of uh, into a list of records. So that each of that record in the list gets saved into the get record variable so that we can individually utilize that record. And so that was uh, pretty, pretty much it. And uh, then we are actually utilizing this extra information that we are counting each of the record that is stored that is available within the my, my sequences then we are printing it out the numbering of the sequence and then the id itself and then the sequence itself so let's run our code and let's see what actually happens so there we go and now you can see that first of all what really happens is the sequence one the id is displayed the sequence is displayed after that sequence two 
ID, sequence itself, sequence three, ID, and the sequence itself. So let me define it through the output as well. What is really happening over here is that uh, first of all, this file is being passed through sequence IO module. It converts all of the sequences that are available.